So we are going to discuss about heat transfer through composite wall. So while looking at the experiment, here at the center we are having a heater coil. This one is the heater coil and uh, after that this one comes uh, the cast iron, then comes the backlight, then press wood, uh, then uh, it is for the structural rigidity and additional uh, the plate is provided. That is not the part of the experiment but for the structural rigidity. So what we do is <coughs> from the heater coil the heat will be passing through these walls, composite wall and we will be studying the thermal resistance because of this wall and all. So when we are looking it, we are having like this. This one is cast iron, this is bakelite, then comes the press wood. Then here there is heater coil. Then again cast iron, bakelite, press wood. So what we do is we will be giving a voltage for this coil. Let us say that voltage is V and a current I will be passing through it so that the heat passing through it will be Q will be is equal to V into I. So that heat of the heat of the total heat Q produced in the coil half of it will be passing in the lower direction half will be passing in the upper direction. So if we are looking at the heat passing in one direction that is Q by 2 that heat will be is equal to uh, temperature difference T1 delta T uh, divided by so that heat will be equated to this temperature resistance and all to get the, our required readings. So first what we will uh, look at the arrangement of thermocouples. So here <coughs> we have uh, two coils will be kept here one and two, two thermocouples will be kept here that is at the inner surface of the cast iron. So and those thermocouples are 1 and 2 and similarly at the outside surface of cast iron that is the inside sur surface of backlight there we will get here we will keep a 3 and 4 and at the lower side we will get, keep 5 and 6. So 1 and 2 are kept at the center, two, uh, four, 3, 4, 5, 6 are kept at the outside of cast iron, outside of cast iron or it is inside of backlight. Again here outside of backlight we will be keeping 7, 8, 9, 10. So these are kept at the outside of backlight or it is inside of press wood. And then at the outside of press wood we will be keeping 11, 12, 13, 14, 4 thermocouples. That is outside of press wood. So now we are able to get the temperature by taking the average of these thermocouples. That is the sender temperature can be obtained by T1 plus T2 by 2. This is the sender temperature. Let us call it as Tc. Now uh, at the if we are considering the cast iron block then this is the inside cast iron block temperature and the outside cast iron block temperature is T3 plus T4 plus T5 plus T6 divided by 4. That is the outside cast iron temperature or that is the inside backlight temperature. Similarly, the average of T7, T8, T9, T10 will give by 4. This will give outside backlight temperature or inside pursuit temperature. Now, outside pursuit temperature is T1, T12, T13 plus T14 by 4. So now we have obtained the answer. We have obtained the temperature of these walls. Now if we are considering this composite wall, this is somewhat like this. We are considering only at one direction. So at one direction, a Q by 2 heat will be passing through like this, Q by 2. And here let us call this temperature as T TA and this can be called TB, this can be called TC, this can be called TD. So this temperature is TA, here the temperature is TB, here the temperature is TC, here we have the temperature TD. So uh, of this composite wall we are able to obtain the temperature at each, each junction. Now <coughs> if we are to get the this one 
if you have to get the resistance of this first term first term is cast iron so if you have to get the uh, resistance of this cast iron it is simple now we have the temperature difference ta minus tb now the basic conduction equation gives q is equal to k into a into uh, dt by dx or or it is like q is equal to something like well or if we are taking this a this side so we will get a small q small q is equal to dt by resistance so we are able to obtain this resistance r is equal to dt by q so if you are having the temperature difference between this sides these walls we are able to obtain the resistance but the thing is we should know heat flux for finding the heat flux we have q is equal to vi so that is divided by the area of this one this plate that will be given the diameter of this disc will be given so we will divide the this is actually q by 2 because only q by 2 heat is passing through this side of the wall this composite wall so q by 2 divided by area we will get the heat flux so that this divided by area we will get heat flux so now we have heat flux we are able to obtain the temperature difference from a thermocouple so we can find the thermal resistance of the thermal resistance of each block so that is the main objective of this experiment so here what we do is <coughs> initially we will check whether this is rigid so by keeping this one rigid uh, these plates are in in a tight fashion so that there will not be air in between these two plates these plates so we are keeping this one rigid by tightening it then <coughs> we will check whether initially this is at zero or not initially this have to be at zero demonstrator the demonstrator have to be at zero now uh, we will switch on this one and we will be switching on the mains so now we have a voltage reading here a current reading here and we have a temperature ready here so for temperature here we have 14 thermocouples as we have discussed earlier we have 14 thermocouples so we are able to get the value of each thermocouple by placing the knob suppose if you are keeping this knob in line with this 5 we are able to obtain the value t5 so that's how we do this one so first we will be uh, switching on the mains then initially we will try to keep this voltage as 80 so that is by adjusting the dimmer stat we will be keeping this one at 80 so it should be at 80 it's not necessary but our is 80 so our is yes. because the heat flux should heat q v into i q should be about some 90 and also for keeping that we will be keeping this at some 80 or 79 etc so now we have this one voltage and we have current reading by multiplying it we are able to get q uh, heat it's by dividing it by the area of the disk we will be getting the flux now what we do is <coughs> we will be taking the initial reading for initial reading we, we want to draw the tabular column so tabular column will be somewhat like this t1 t2 t3 t4 etc like that we will be having up to t40 so initially we will be taking this t1 reading so now we have t1 reading t1 read is, uh, reads such 36 now t2 again t2 we have 31 then t3 t3 we have again somewhat 36 and all so similarly we will take the readings t5 t6 etc the whole re uh, readings will be taken so we will keep on taking reading for about some uh, two hours and we will be reading the readings at an interval of 10 minutes so after 10 minutes again we will be using this knob and we will be taking the readings of all these uh, thermocouples now at a time here suppose say that the readings are somewhat like this uh, 35 or say it is like 40 38 37 36 36 35 somewhat like 35 34 so somewhat like this now at a time what we do is in, now the present reading is this one so after 10 seconds again while we are taking the reading the reading will be like this the same setup we will be 
read, getting the reading as the same set of readings of the previous case. That is, you will be getting somewhat like this. That means now this system has become steady. So the readings are same 40, 40, 30, 30. That means system has become steady. And these values can be used to obtain TA, TB, TC, TC, TD, which I have discussed earlier. So that can be uh, then this TA, TB, TC, TD are sub substituted in the equation so that we are able to obtain the thermal resistance of each block provided here. So after uh, taking the readings, uh, while switching off this device, first we should adjust the dimmer stat to zero, the voltage should be maintained at zero, then we have to switch the means. That's how we find the heat transfer through composite wall by using uh, this particular setup. Thank you.